you will see um, the trades that I've back tested. This file is about higher time frame point of interest, only one hour point of interest. Um, okay. It's not really about seeing if it's win or loss, but it's about seeing which areas are the best. And okay. the areas that are the best are areas that manipulate. Now, what does this mean that manipulate? So let's see, for example, GBAUD on today's example. Uh, by this, when I say areas that manipulate, it means that first I make this example. So for example, there is a range. This happens, everyone thinks that we're bearish and then bullishness continues, okay? Now this yes. area that manipulates this is best order block in order block selection. So once we come back, this area is really good, okay? Because okay. it's manipulated. So every area that makes people think that we will go bearish, so it induces people to go into sales and trade also from this supply, you know, and then yes. it stop us, mm -hmm. this area works the best. And you will see that in the back testing file. Now, example on today, um, let me go to the one hour. So um, this, this is not from today, this is from last week. Why yeah. did they take this higher time from order block? This higher time from order block broke this area, made everyone think that we were bearish and then broke structure. So manipulate and breaks structure, then it's great. Now, why is this, why is this area good? Why did I take this? Uh, on, the, on the one hour, you can see it, but it's you can see it better on the 30 minutes. It looks like we break the previous low. Yes. And then we break structure to the upside here. These areas are the best areas, okay? Okay. And in fact, we respect it. Now, you can tell me that you are having difficulties on lower time frames. Reason why is because you are waiting for spring. So yes. spring is not like seeing a spring is better, but it's not the only thing we're looking for. We're looking for a change in direction. So here we reach our point of interest. I go to lower time frames on five minutes. And what do we see? A change of direction. We were bearish. So you need to see who is in control. Is supply or demand in control? Here, let's go back with replay, okay? Yes. So. Here we have break a structure. Means that we need to break this structure to go bullish, okay? Yes. We continue. We touch into the area, we have new break of structure, kinda, yeah. Means that we need to break this area to go bullish. Does it happen? We respect it touch into the area. We, we, we. And here what happens? We, we broke it still. We broke it. Now, what, where do we look to trade from? We look for demand. So supply fails, demand is in control. 15 minutes demand, we trade from here. Okay? Okay. And this was my confirmation entry. Just looking at market structure very, very closely, you need to look where we broke structure and which is the point in control that broke structure. So here, this was break the structure to the downside, but we need to break this to, to actually go bullish. Now we have a retracement, we break again, means that here we have break the structure, this is in control. Here we break it, means that uh, it's not all the times, but yeah. most of the times this is in control. And this was our trade from today, from here and and now I closed it when we were talking. I closed it here. <laughs> this was the trade from here. In this case, pending order, stop loss, take off. Okay. Okay. I I think my um I think my uh, my my worries or my difficulties. I want to do um not that I want to. But in my brain, it's like the whole concept, you know, like uh, from the whole cross is in my brain. And I'm like, 
oh no, I'm forgetting like about the range. I'm forgetting like about this. I can, uh, I can put this in the concept. And I think that that's the problem why I'm getting confused then. Yeah, just make sure that uh, you look closely at Marcus Rutcher, not on the one minute, because one minute is a little bit more crazy. It can change more, but maybe on five minutes, you look at Marcus Rutcher for confirmation and you need to look where it breaks and which point is in control after breaking. So breaks, point is in control. Breaks, point is in control. We break the point in control means that probably demand is in control. So demand, okay. Now, yes. keep in mind that um, here, for example, we had break to the downside and this point was in control, okay? And we break it to the upside. So you might think that we will take buys from here. You know, the reason why we don't take them is because we never reached the key area that we wanted to trade from. So you only look for lower time frames confirmation after we touch it. So this point is in control. We touch key area. We don't break this point, so we have no confirmation. We come back to the area, we break the point. Now it's time to enter. Here it wasn't time to enter because we didn't reach the key area, which is this one. You know, this fifth. Ah, uh, I un I understand. I understand. I if get it. If we don't it, touch so it, if we don't touch it, it doesn't make sense to look for the confirmation. Yeah. So so uh, ju uh just to uh, make uh, only clear in my head um like um. Normally, I'm uh, I'm looking at the chart and uh, at the trades like um, with the market structure, with supply demand, and all these things, um, like the understanding of the market, and only like uh, in a few cases, if I see that the spring just happened, or if I see oh, it it looks like uh, something like a spring can happen, something like a sending climax, and all this stuff, or yeah, um, then I uh, get on this concept. Uh, am I right? Correct. You okay. start high time frames. Once we reach your key area, so as you know, high time. Look at the high time frames uh, selection on yes. the testing file. Once you are good at selecting the areas, and you can see that you can just trade with key areas, basically, for more confirmation and better trades. Then you will learn about lower time frames. But you look at lower time frames only after we touch the key area. Otherwise, you don't look for lower time frames confirmation up here. Yes, yes, but uh, um, the own, um, the, I, I think my fear is uh, to, um, to go too, uh, too early in the trade because uh, sometimes when the key area touched uh, and I'm like, okay, we touched the key area, we turn, uh, in this case, uh, when we are, um, yeah, when, when we are bullish and we're coming back bearish to the area and I'm like, okay, we touch the area and then we are uh, going bullish back. Uh, then the only thing is, um, in some cases, I go too early in the trade and then uh, some manipulation happens and after that, uh, it goes in the direction. Well, of course, sometimes, even if you have confirmation, we still manipulate uh, again, but um if you have a good key area and a good confirmation paying closely attention to your um to market structure and who is in control between supply and demand then most of the times you will be correct now let's see this example this example was because we reached this key area after reaching it we broke structure to the upside okay mm -hmm. and we came back here now what happened over there What happened here? Here. I went to the one minute, which I don't recommend you, but it was a small setup. So I had yeah. to go. I don't recommend, for now, stay on the five or me maximum go to the three minutes. Okay. Not one. But okay. I still show you the reasoning because it doesn't matter if it is one or three or five, it's the same move, okay? Sure, yeah. So. Here, it was who's in control? This supply phase. This breaks to the downside, means that this is in control. This is broken, demand is created. Okay, so it was either this oh, yeah. demand or this demand. Okay, one, this or this. 
I entered from here and just put stop loss below this demand just in case we were going to reach this demand and then go up. Okay. Okay. But what you need to pay now, very, very important is that look at this move. If this move doesn't break to the downside and stops here, that is not valid confirmation. This is not the point in control. Point in control is higher, okay? Because it didn't break structure, which means yes. that, look, because many people get confused. Okay. Okay, so if this happens, this is not confirmation because this is still, look at the breaks of structure. Break of structure is here and here there is no, this, supply didn't break structure so this break to the upside is no confirmation but in this case what happened was that this happens and for now this is in, conf in, in con this is in control yes. now this happened right there and then broke since we had this break of structure it's a little different but makes the whole difference since we had this small break of structure now this is good confirmation and we can look to trade from demand but small difference but everything changes okay good yes. confirmation against bad confirmation this is not confirmation for me according to our strategy this is confirmation according to our strategy because this so was the supply in control that broke structure here there was no break of structure so this is still in control. So by by one pip, when the uh, when supply demand fails, uh, it's like okay, uh, then it's a confirmation. It's break of structure. Yes, but the one that is in control, not just supply and demand, because this yeah, is yeah, yeah, I, I know the one that is in control. Yes, yes, okay, correct. Um, yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, I wanted to ask you since I, we were doing this example, if I can. Mm -hmm cut a small clip of the last five minutes that we were talking and I share it with also um, possibly in the course because this is a good explanation of lower time frames and I wanted yes, to of course I wanted to add more lower time frames um, content just the last yes, five sure. minutes of course all the rest no just the last five minutes sure of course okay great um, Thank you, man. Uh, I hope this is helpful uh, also. So for now, yes. what you need is you start from the backtesting file. What you, need, what you should pay attention to in the backtesting file is that the good areas are the ones that manipulate. Just look at that a lot. Okay. Other than that, after that, you look, um, you backtest a lot higher time frames areas, which means one hour or maximum four hours areas. Mm -hmm. And then um and then after some time you start looking at lower time frames confirmation okay okay sure perfect 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 any other question um i'm thinking about it at the moment but um this is no problem like if we do less time of uh, of call like if we do now 30 minutes you still is not we st you still have two hours and a half remaining for the next course. Yes, of course, of course, I know, but uh, only if there's some little thing, you know. Maybe uh, after the call, I, I uh, two minutes, then I'm like, oh, I was uh, <laughs> I forgot it to ask. <laughs> um, no, but normally not. I think I think the only uh, confusion was a uh, uh, confusion was about uh, uh, one minute um time frame and uh that i want to put the whole concept inside the trading plan <laughs> and oh, it's good one minute is pretty confusing can change structure a lot even if yes i think that's why because it's it's changed uh, structure yeah. that much and I, yeah i recommend to start looking for confirmation on five minutes okay so it's better um when um just for example um, like the trade from today, um, when um, when this happens and uh, the uh, structure uh, turned back, uh, like from bearish to bullish, 
um, like in five minutes and uh, supply failed, then I can uh, also look for, uh, from five minutes or three minutes. Okay, uh, if this uh, supply is holding, I can enter there and put my stop loss uh, below it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Well, yes, sometimes there are two demand areas, like here there is one and just below there is another one. Mm -hmm. Okay, we hold this one, but it still puts stop loss below both, just in case we come we come to this one, you know. Okay, yeah. Because you never you never know. Okay. You cannot tell if we're gonna hold this one or or this one. Okay, then I will look at the back test file. And yeah. if I have some question, uh, what is the best way to uh, reach out to you? Because uh, I think I don't get the right uh, Telegram number or Telegram contact from you because uh, I was texting you and uh, don't uh, get out of Telegram. Um, maybe it's best uh, on, on Instagram, to be honest. On Instagram, okay. Yeah, I don't respond right away, but but I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no problem. Uh, when uh, it's something important or something like this, I can text you uh, also in Discord. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. No, I, I have to thank you, really. I have to thank you because <laughs> I was so confused the last days and the last weeks and my brain was really exploding because I saw the... Uh, psychology videos and all the stuff from the uh, FTMO program and to be honest man I was like the last weeks uh, so hardcore uh, self-isolated and nice. I don't I, I don't know to be honest what the, uh, what the world looks like outside <laughs> so yeah. I was like okay then I think I need one uh, one um, yeah, to make to make things clear in my head uh, that I have too much there inside and only to make uh, a good trading uh, setup. Yeah, but it's good. It's good that you put in a lot of work. You will figure it out. It's just, you know, it's a phase. Just stick. To yeah, it. man. Ooh. Really, I I want this more than everything. So I I um, like really the last um, the last months and the last weeks as I wrote you. Um, I think like I'm in one year or over one year now uh, with the Excel course and all this yeah. stuff. And I see like a uh, lot of problems in life and all this stuff, you know, and I was like, okay, I'm never going to get this, really never going to get this with any job I'm going to own, with any management, with any nothing. And I'm like, okay, man, trading is the only thing you have. Trading is the only thing you uh, it's it's cool and you like it and you love it and I'm like okay then uh, put all I have in trading so that's the only thing yeah man just I really recommend you to I know that you want to be profitable right now right now uh, no yeah yeah but the thing is uh, I um, I know that uh, the time is coming because yeah. I, I'm I think I, I'm thinking like okay um the whole last year was only studying and now uh, like refining, you know, and um, I'm like, okay, uh, I know the year is a, uh, it's a long year and I have the time and, um, uh, but also grinding and hustling. But uh, for me, I have the, um, uh, how does it name? So, only the thing that, that I that I'm a profitable trader, you know, it doesn't make uh, any uh, thing for 